it is Chris here again with another video and in this video today we're going to be taking a look at the Rockaway Town Square Mall in Rockaway Dover New Jersey now the reason why we're taking a look at the Rockaway Town Square Mall in Rockaway Dover New Jersey is because just today uh, there were some new job listings uh, posted on jobs.sears.com uh, confirming that the Rockaway Town Square store uh, will be closing uh, so no news media outlet has this article out yet um, I will make another video when that information does become available, but yes, it is happening. Uh, one of the three Sears and Roebuck stores left in the state of New Jersey uh, is officially going into liquidation sales. I don't know exactly when, probably it's going to be at some point on Thursday, but yes, uh, Sears in Rockaway at Rockaway Town Square in Rockaway, Dover, New Jersey uh, is officially closing. Now, this is how I found out about the information. It was literally... Um, on jobs.sears.com, uh, temporarily home appliance sales up to 40 hours a week, store closing, hardware sales, backroom, and cashier. So this is where I found out all the information on that and was literally right on the Transform Co. Sears website. So yes, uh, Sears and Roebuck at the Rockaway Town Square Mall in Rockaway, Dover, New Jersey is closing officially. It's officially confirmed. Uh, I would expect the media to have some articles out uh, at some points later on today and I will have an updated video uh, just reading the articles and in that video I will also have the link to this original video so without a further ado let's take a quick look uh, at this store starting at the southwest entrance of the building so you can see it has one of those um, triangular things pretty much like the other stores so like I said this is one of the last three Sears and Roebuck stores within the city of New Jersey we can all thank Eddie Lampert for destroying uh, more of these Sears and Roebuck stores um, I will definitely be getting out to the store at some point I just don't know when that's going to be um, depending on the weather maybe maybe next weekend if if it's a washout on like a Saturday or Sunday uh, maybe I'll go early or something but again um, I don't know, but I just, I literally just found this out today and I figured I needed to make a video about it before um, the day was over. But yeah, this is the merchandise pickup uh, section of the Sears and Roebuck store. So yes, it, it is unfortunately official. Sears and Roebuck is closing at the Rockaway Town Square. I wasn't surprised. I saw the rumor floating around on Sears layoffs and now it, it is official that this store uh, is indeed closing. By the way, before they did the actual renovation, let's get a view of the older, a little bit older style. Uh, before, like, like before they they did the, I don't know, they did the Raymore Flanagan, but you guys get the point. This is the merchandise pickup side uh, of the department store. So very sad. Another 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 casualty for Sears and Roebuck in the state of New Jersey. Um, right over here, we have the Sears loading dock and the auto, auto center exit of the Sears and Roebuck store. It looks like a lot of uh, loading docks. Wow, six, what is that? Six uh, bays of trucks. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot for, this. that's a lot for, especially for this location. That's a lot of truck bays in particular. But yeah, this is what it looked like in 2017. And this is what it looked like in 2015 of August. So that was it right here. Um, but, you know, the old white Sears sign and then and then you had the newer white Sears sign. So it really didn't change it that much, but you guys get the point. Um, you know, very unfortunate that this store is, is closing. Um, it's very sad that this store is closing. I think this opened up in like 1977. Originally, this is one of the last two original anchors in the mall. So this is certainly a significant loss, but you know we we all know who to blame. Uh, Eddie Lampert, you know, like I said, like I've said in many of these videos, you know, he's a Wall Street billionaire. He didn't care about the stores, and now, you know, after co the coronavirus pandemic, he's very quietly closing stores left and right. Um, I would would expect to possibly see another uh, Sears and Roebuck store closing at some point. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be this week or next week. I did talk about it in a live stream, but wow, I did not expect it to hit uh, this quick. In particular, I don't. I don't think there's any articles out yet about this uh, Sears and Roebuck store. Um, but when there is articles out about this Sears and Roebuck store, um, I will definitely make sure to uh, read the articles for you guys and describing um, exactly what is going to happen to these Sears stores. But right now, there's no article. This literally just happened today. Uh, they posted the job listings. It's unfortunate too. Um, like I said, this has a 1970s. Uh, Otis Elevator. There's just a lot of places for me to visit, and you know, like I said, I have to do it one at a time. So, but I might do this it, depending on the weather, and probably it's I'm probably gonna wait till after Fourth of July, and yeah, for reasons being. 
So I'm going to try and view a little bit of the older portion of the store because the newer portion is really not that anything special. But I figured, you know, now that the store is officially closing, I figured it would be a nice time to go ahead and view the 2015 version of this store because I was here back in 2015 uh, right before Barry Moore and Flanagan did move down into the first level of this Sears and Roebuck store that is now slated to close. But yeah, you have the, um, go back to the old one. There we go. All right. So yeah, there's the nice, there's the nice, there's the nice uh, auto center sign. So I'll give you guys a few seconds here to admire that. I think we are on uh, the northwest entrance of, of, of the building. And you can see right here they did do a renovation, but beforehand, um, the entrance sign never really changed for this in particular for this Sears and Roebuck store. Um, but they did have a much smaller entrance. Like they definitely patched this up and then eventually they did renovate it and they moved the Sears sign, the white Sears sign from here uh, up to here. And then this is the entrance into the auto center because the exit for the auto center is by the loading dock um, of the Sears and Roebuck store. The right here, it's, wow, look at that. Look at that old retail entrance sign. That I mean, this is gone now, obviously, because the store did renovate once Raymore and Flanagan moved into the lower level. Um, but kind of a cool sign, retail entrance and service center. That's a pretty cool Sears and Roebuck sign. Uh, it's a shame that it is now gone completely. They completely uh, removed it, and now this is what stands. <sighs> but anyways, okay. Um, so we're going to have to go ahead and move a little bit around here because, like I said, this mall is built on a hill, so it's a little bit of an odd position. I know I don't want to get Raymore and Flanagan in it. Um, I'm going to try not to. But right here we have another, another uh, looks like a couple of other entrances as well. Looks like some employee entrances. This might have actually been an entrance at one point, but I guess they probably did some brick, brick work and they probably patched it up at some point. So, um, oh, no, I did not want to do that. All right, um, okay, let's... Okay, I want to try and get a view of that that white sear sign, so I, I, I I'm gonna try my very best. Okay, that's probably gonna be the best view. Let me let me just let me just go back just a little bit on this particular in this this particular closing. Okay, all right, all right. That's probably gonna be the best view we can get of the Sears and Roebuck sign. So we'll give you guys just a few seconds here to admire that white sear sign. So pretty much after this closure, um, there's only going to be two Sears and Roebuck stores left in the state of New Jersey, and that's going to be Hackensack and Jersey City, New Jersey. That's the last Sears and Roebuck store that is connected to a mall within the state of New Jersey, Jersey City. Um, I don't know if Hackensack is going to close this week as well, but right now this is the one that we know about is, is the one closing in Rockaway. Uh, like I said, I, I do expect the media to come out with some kind of articles at some point later on today. Um, but again, this is this is incredibly sad. Uh, this this Sears closure, um, you know, like I said, it, it's a classic Otis Lexan with uh, Epco buttons, and uh, I'll definitely be visiting the mall. Well, considering now that they just opened up malls in New Jersey, I might very this might be the next mall for me to go to. Considering that this Sears and Roebuck store is now closing, and you can see that too. I'm just trying to move around here so you guys can really just take in this this old Sears and Roebuck store. I'm trying to keep it at 2015. Um, so just a bunch of trees. Uh, this would be the northeast entrance of the uh, um, of the building. So like I said, very sad again that this store is closing. Um, I believe it is going to close at some point in September. So I think liquidation sales are going to start this week, and I think they're going to run from July to August, and they're finally going to close this store in September. Um, like I said, it's it's very sad. We all know that Eddie Lampert is a Wall Street billionaire. You know, he doesn't care about the prop, doesn't care about the stores. He's more interested in the profits and the real estate. I think everybody knows that at this point. Um, but this literally hit like a meteor. I was just like, wow, I got, I need to make a video about this. Um, but yeah, that's the entrance. That's the northeast entrance of the store. And then finally, um, like I said, there's a lot of trees here, so it's not it's not going to be as easy to get a view of the Sears sign. So I do once again apologize if I have to kind of kind of move around just to get a decent shot of the sign. Yeah, that's probably going to be the best shot right there. So we'll give you guys a few seconds here to admire that uh, white Sears sign. That's a truck, by the way, going up the block. But yeah, this is it's pretty sad that this store is closing.
like I've, like I've said many times before. So, And then I believe this part actually connects to the mall. I think, yeah, I think this at this point this is the mall. It's, it's very interesting how they blend it in too. But no, I, I do not think that this is part of the Sears store. So... All right, so to conclude our little uh, tour of this Sears and Roebuck store, uh, we're going to get a quick 3D view of each entrance. So the southeast entrance of the building is connected to the to the Rockaway Town Square Mall. Uh, the southwest entrance is a merchandise pickup area, which is near one of the Rockaway Town Square entrances. You also got the loading dock on that side of the building. Over here you have got the Sears Auto Center, um, and you also have another entrance into the Sears and Roebuck store on the second level too. Um, and then finally, you do have Raymore and Flanagan that, did, that actually did take over the uh, first floor portion of this building. Um, and then you also do have a Sears sign here. So the elevator is still in here. Um, I am definitely going to try and make it out to this mall. Uh, it's pretty close to where I live. It's just a hop and a skip and a boat on uh, Interstate 80. So like I said, the next the next rainy day... I'm definitely going to try and go to this store um, as early as possible. Um, but like I said, I, I was very shocked to see this today on jobs.sears.com. So it's very sad that this store is closing. But again, we all know the man who's behind all these closures, and I don't need to say his name again. So anyways, guys, that's about going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and rest in peace to this store in 1997 to 2020. Anyways, guys, thank you again for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video, and that will be it.